ruminants ruminants are the grazing animals the stomach of the ruminants have four compartments rumen amosum abomasum and reticulum so on the basis of because of the name of the rumen they are called as ruminants now the ruminant is of very importance because they it has the complex bio network of bacteria fungi bacteriophages archaea and protozoa in the close proximity the significance of these rumen microbes is in their digestion of the cellulosic material which is present in the feed of the ruminants so they digest these material and convert it into the volatile fatty acids like acetate butyrate propionate formic acid carbonate and methane and different other gases are also present one of the more uh, most important uh, function of these rumen microbes is that they play very important role in the detoxification of the mycotoxins if it is present in their feed that is also be detoxified now with the coming to the next point what is the microbial rumen microbial ecosystem here we can see it is the anaerobic environment in which the bacteria archaea you are the eukarya are present the conditions are strictly anaerobes and the dry matter is the 10 to 18 percent temperature of the rumen is 38 to 41 physiological ph is 5.5 to 6.9 now cattle has 58 liter of the rumen fluid volume if we see the rumen one drop of the one ml of the rumen fluid contain the number of bacteria protozoan and fungi here we can see the amount of the these microbes present in the rumen After, when the analysis of the rumen was done if we see the chemical properties so they have the amino acid oligopolypeptides ammonia dietary components different gases are also present in the gas phase in which the co2 ch4 nitrogen oxygen and hydrogen are there when we see the microbiological properties so we can see that the per gram different microbes bacteria ciliate protozoa anaerobic fungi and bacteriophages are present so their number and the number of the species and the genera which are present that is also we can see now if we firstly we will see the rumen bacteria so rumen contain different type of bacteria and they are very important because they form around 50 to 75% of the total microbial population and they use do the degradation of the plant fiber by the different enzymatic activity like xylenases and and endo glucanases now on the basis of their function they are fiber degrading lactic acid utilizer acidogen and starch utilizer so they are also going to produce the different type of functions and different type of gases also as a result of this degradation anaerobic fungi are also associated with the lignocellulose digestion and uh, but they are very uh, their number is very few they are smallest in number okay now the protozoan ciliates and flagellates like they also engulf the bacteria and feed particle and digest the carbohydrate protein and fat so they are also important protozoans are also important the cycle recycling and the cycling which is going on of the nutrient which is going on inside the rumen of the cattle after this we will see the methanogens so methanogens are archaea bacteria now they also what they will do they will um, reduce they will uh, use the co2 and h2 pro produced by the protozoan fungi and the bacteria and it will be used they will use this h2 and co2 in the catabolism of hexoses to produce the methane and their energy generation so the, for that they they have the different type of coenzymes also and that they are involved in the final reaction of ch4 production bacteriophages are also very important in the, in the microbial community their number is to the 9 particles per minute per uh, ml and uh, they, they are specific for specific bacteria and how they are helping they will help in bacterial mass turnover in rumen by lysing the bacterial cell and thus the bacterial protein is able, easily available to animals as a source of amino acid example is the siphonophage not till here we have seen the what are the rumen rumen microbes and what is their ecosystem now we will see the isolation of bacteria from the ruminants so requirement for the experiment is the weighing balance then conical flask for petridaceous inoculation loop media specific media are required as they are uh, under they are cultivated as for their cultivation we need the anaerobic environment so for the uh, facilitating the anaerobic and the specific condition we need the special media 
So for that, we will use the nutrient agar media, yeast enrichment peptone media, that is YEPD media and Riemann bacterial media. Apart from that, we need the autoclave hot air oven incubator and McIntosh jar. McIntosh jar will be used for the cultivation because they are strictly anaerobic organism. So for the anaerobic conditions, we need anaerobic jar and that conditions will be provided by in the McIntosh jar. Then we will study them by the microscope and gram stain. Coming to the methodology, for the methodology, firstly, we will collect the rumen from the slaughterhouse. We will take the sample, we will dilute it serially. Once the serial dilution is done, we will take the uh, culture uh, media, uh, that is specific culture media, and on those specific media, we will cultivate the organism. And by overlay method, using the liquid paraffin in the nutrient agar and the rumen microbe media. Then we will plate these, uh, place these plates in the McIntosh jar for 2 to 3 days and at 37 degree centigrade. After the, once these, these plating are done, cultivation is done, we will take some content of the rumen and inoculate into by the agar shake flask technique. So this is all about the cultivation and after the once the cultivation is done, once the inoculation is done, after the incubation period, we will get our results. So we will firstly, we will observe what we have got. So in the observation, we have seen that the shake culture tubes, there were the there are the gas bubbles. Okay, so the presence of the gas bubbles will show the presence of the anaerobic forms. And on the basis of their dilution, the growth will also obtain on the different culture plates. So here we can say that on the basis of the dilution, how the plates have got the growth. Once these growths are obtained, we, now we have to see, we have to specify, we have to confirm the organism present in the rumen. For that, we will go for the different biochemical tests. So on the basis of the different biochemical properties of the microorganism of the different bacteria, we can confirm the bacteria which is present in the rumen sample. So for this, we will go for the different biochemical tests like indole test, methyl red, bogus procure, citrate utilization, then H2S production test, urease activity, carbohydrate fermentation, sugar fermentation test, triple sugar iron test. So these are the different tests on, on the after which we will confirm the organism present in the rumen. This was all about the rumen and its microbiology and the isolation of the different bacteria present in the rumen. Thank you.